Awesome. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm good. I like your striped shirt. Thank you. It was the what won't show sweat because the air conditioner is off for the next 10 minutes. <laughs> I feel that. I just don't yeah. have any sleeves. See, I should have done that, but you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slightly different vibe. Um, I, uh, I've i loved your stuff for a long time. And I remember obviously like Dope and Neighbors too and sort of supporting roles. But I uh, I really, really love Hearts Beat Loud. And Thank you. Really went on like a crusade for that film. And I had, I had loved <laughs> Brett's last movie, and I was actually doing Q and A's with him, like opening weekend for the hero. Yeah, he was talking about his next movie. He's like, "I'm making, I'm making like a movie that's kind of a musical, and like I have to find this cat." He was talking about you. And oh, it was it was oh, nice. so cool to, you know, six months later see the movie and go, "Oh, I get it." Oh, and, that's so nice. I love Brett, and I love the movie. Oh yeah, and I think so much of what you choose are projects where people go oh i get it when they when they see you because they're never the the same thing twice and and i would even say like it's still somewhat early in your career that everything's been so different it's i think it just makes people very excited to see what you do next so i'm Ooh, look yeah. i'm excited too i never know what's happening <laughs> changing my mind every single day um i saw a tweet that said something like Kiersey Clemens makes very interesting choices. <laughs> yeah, you're like, is that a positive or a negative? I'm going to take it as a well, positive. I took it as like, I just took it as, yeah, I wake up and I think the same thing. Um, I felt seen because, yeah. you know, it is, I am just going with the flow. Um, at the end of the day, it's like, I get to have a job where I get to try all these different, I get to switch it up, you yeah. know? Oh yeah, uh, like you like you won already just by having the job. So like, why not have fun with uh, it? Why not take advantage of hopping around and seeing, then you learn a lot and oh, yeah. you know, I found out what I don't enjoy and what I do, so. Sure, I mean, that's that's the other thing is like, if you only do one thing, one, you only know right. that. And two, like you said, you don't really learn what, what you don't like. It doesn't mean it's bad. It just means like, okay, that one's not for me, but I have a friend on it or that exactly. one. Well, there's always a thing. Absolutely. I definitely have things where projects that uh, people will bring up the movie and I'm like, ah, you don't have to watch that. But yeah. I've made such great friends from them that I would do it again. So... Oh, yeah, or or even just like introduced you to, to people who wouldn't have necessarily seen dope or wouldn't have yeah, seen exactly hearts beat loud. You're like, all right, because yeah. because that's the thing. Like you want to be able to continue to be in a position where you can go, well, I don't want to do this. I want to do this. Oh my god, yeah. I really want this, and I want people to want to see me in it. So even if yeah. it's like, okay, this is not maybe I'm not the fan of this, but it seems like a fun movie, and like I can do a good job. Yeah. And years down the line, someone might be like, I loved you in that. You're like, all right, cool. It right. And hopefully they watch the next thing that maybe didn't necessarily get as much exposure. But if there's another film that I can do to lift that smaller film up, I will absolutely, I'm yeah. buckling in, I'm ready to go. And it literally, I mean, it's literally happening now. Like, you know, yeah. <laughs> You're like, I am in a giant movie that's out now, and this is a movie coming out next month. But that is really how it feels. It's wonderful it. timing, you know? Sometimes yeah. we set it up that way. Um, but I am so excited about Susie Searches, and Susie and The Flash have always kind of crossed over. Even when we were meant to film, at one point I was going to maybe have to choose. And so now the fact that this big movie has come out and... I can piggyback off of it with a smaller film that I'm obviously much more passionate and excited about. Shocking. It's my little baby. Um, How did you find it? Because that's the thing. Like, it's such a good showcase role. And I feel like yeah. so many of these never get to the actor, you know? No. Um, well, I, we were, it was 2020 and we were in the thick of it. And um, <laughs> yeah, and you know, there weren't many 
meetings and things like that happening because at this point everyone had given up on the idea that maybe we'll be back in six months yeah. um but Sophie Kargman our writer and director she's always on it and ready to go she's like <laughs> her shot list was ready in 2020 <laughs> um what? and she was like I just want to get this I, I then we can take advantage of the rest of the year you know me and whoever plays Susie they facetiming and creating this together and so I guess she, I don't really know how she came across me, to be honest. Um, but we FaceTimed, we talked for two hours, and we just rambled about Susie and went through like each page of the script together. Um, and then we, once we were allowed like outside, we would do the walks like one person on this side of the street and me on the other just shouting back and forth different ideas um and so really it's Sophie Sophie found me um again I'm blanking on what it was what I do know is she saw me in something and then she was like and then I watched every single thing that, like any interview you'd ever done every single thing um was so she like felt it out yeah 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 uh, and then like for you, what makes you want to say yes? Because it's one thing to get sent something and go, oh, it's nice that someone wants me to star, and, like be the central character. But I'm sure you've gotten ones and read and been like, yeah, but that's not going to be the movie. Uh, <laughs> and then and then finding the character. This is such a specific character. It's a character you don't see enough in the movies. Yeah. Um, I will. Obviously, I read it. And I mean, things like this don't come to me often yeah. not really character work um where I get to transform so as soon as I read you know in the first maybe it was on the first page when it was describing Susie and she has braces I just immediately was like in and so excited and couldn't wait to finish reading the script because I also get very excited about a director when they're excited about me because then I feel seen so then a part of me thinks well if you see me maybe we have the same I would hope that we have the same taste and I can see you in the same way and trust you in that way um and also the fact that Sophie was you know coming to a black actress and I haven't, I mean, we haven't really gotten to see a lot of Black women play a part, or or Black men, boys and girls, and everyone else play a part like this. Um, and so I was obviously enticed by that, but also the rest of the script was, yeah. it's an incredibly written script. Um, and I actually really don't like, mm, actually, I'm not going to say I don't like, I get very nervous when it's a part like that. And Sophie never heard me even say the lines yeah. with my braces, reading it in character until we were already in New York and rehearsing with Alex Wolf. <laughs> this is happening. <laughs> First day of rehearsal. And I'm sitting there and I'm realizing, what if she doesn't like how I do this? Like, we're already here. How did we get here? Um, but then the magic happened, the years of us going back and forth and learning who Susie is um, together. It all went, it went, it went well, it went smooth. I can imagine that moment is terrifying. You're like, Alex lives here. He can just go home. Like, we all like <laughs> move for the next little bit. Yeah, like, I'm going to have to hop on a train or something all the way back to LA. Yeah, it's like a bad day. She's like, never mind. My do I have to go wash my dog. She's yeah, like, twice. I think that's a lie. <laughs> I yeah, think yeah, lie. yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, I think once you, I think you, you you put the sort of nail on the head and like, you don't see this role that often. It's not often played by a woman. You get the like sort of that sort of character, but it's a young man. And it's almost never someone of color. Like it's and and the thing about it is the movie doesn't call attention to it. It's never mm -hmm. like, oh, by the way, look what we did. It's yeah. this is the character. And you go to school with this person and yeah. you probably don't pay a ton of attention to her, but we're gonna pay attention to her. Yeah. And 
I really, I don't want this to come across as a, um, this would never be Sophie's perspective and she would never say something like this. I don't want this to end up in the, sounding like it's in the world if she doesn't see color. But she did, someone brought up, you know, her intentionally casting uh, a black girl. And I, you know, me and her had never even really had that conversation outside of me saying, oh, I've ne I never get the opportunity yeah. to do stuff like this. And she found herself having to tell people like, oh, no, 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 no. There was a list of all types of, of, of young women and it was, I wanted Kiersey and yeah. I felt very seen to um, oh. just be seen as the, the, the best actor to her. Yeah. yeah. What else do you want, you know, at the end of the day? And I think the, I the, know. The, and the work speaks for itself. I think when you watch it, which people will get to do soon, it, it does seem very much like, oh, this is the role for you. And yeah. you never know that oh. until you until you watch it, until you make it. So I think, you know, as we as we wrap up, I think you should just be be very proud and, and excited because I think this is one of those ones that a couple of years down the line when, you know, something huge comes out, someone's be like, oh, I just saw that. And I went and watched this other one. And <laughs> oh, my God. And that's the that's the I fun of that. being an actor, right? It is. It is the fun. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much for, for doing this. Like I said, huge, huge heartbeats, loud fan. So you. anything you're in always down for. Oh, thank you so much. Thank oh, you. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thank you.